Hi everyone, I'm Fatma Gülayar. We observed the neural recorder project with my teammates, Ahmet Anbar, Arturul Çiçek and Mehmet Batuhan Dinç. Our aim in this project is to observe the interneural communication signals and uh, record and visualize those signals in a digital environment. Now I will briefly talk about what a neural recorder is. The neural recorder is a device which can record the interneural communication signals that called uh, spikes. And uh, while doing this project, we take those signals from cockroach legs. But those signals are at very low voltages, so uh, different electronic circuit states has been used. And after the uh, hardware stage where we filtered and uh, amplified those signals, uh, a microprocessor is used. Uh, the clock speed of the microprocessor is an uh, important issue here to visualize those signals uh, instantaneously. So uh, we use the Raspberry Pi. I am Altur Ulcic and I will continue from here. Since the frequency range requested from us are from 250 Hz to 4 kHz, we designed the circuit operating in this range. At the same time, we designed the notch filter at 50 Hz and suppress the noise from the transmission lines. The neural signals are very low signals, so we designed the circuit with a certain gain at 2 amp files. We designed the PCB circuit so that low power signals are not affected by noise. We used Altium Designer while designing. As you can see, there are a RCA socket, Clement socket and two DC battery socket in this circuit. We observed the signal that we received from our circuit in a digital environment through the microprocessor. We designed an interface to see these signals in the computer. We use MATLAB for the interface. With MATLAB, our signals in the outputs were clearly observed. Hello, I am Ahmed Ambar. After working with certain microprocessors, we realized that they didn't have enough clock speed to display the signals digitally. We realized that our project with Raspberry Pi 2, which has sufficient sample rate for our signals. We try to keep our system small to be portable and useful. With the 3D printer, we drew a box in which we could put our circuit and made it portable and more protected against external factors like noises. In this way, it could be used in many places. Hello, I am Mehmet Botandi. The flow chart of mechanism is shown here. Before starting the experiment, I want to give some information about proof. Firstly, we anesthetize the cockroach with ice water. Then we tear off the leg of cockroach. While we are doing that, the cockroach will feel nothing. After that, we connect our pins to the tibia and femur. The femur will our ground pin and the tibia is our signal. The tibia has a lot of receptors which takes the signal when we touch the leg. After that, we will display the neural activity on computer with Raspberry Pi. Now we can start the experiment. As you can see now, the experimental setup is here. We are using a both uh, oscilloscope and the computer to display neural activity. And we are using a Faraday cage in order to avoid noise which comes from the devices and our body. In the oscilloscope, now you can see the rain raindrop style noise. Now we are starting to touch it. You can see now the neural spikes on the oscilloscope. These are message signals which comes from the cockroach leg to the cockroach brain. Now we can see the neural spikes on the computer closed. Now you can see the neural activity from the circuit. These are the neural spikes which comes from the cockroach leg while we are touching. This is the output of the experiment. If we look closer to the output, we can clearly see that the neural spike. We have special thanks for Dr. Ismail Vianak.